sometimes we pressure washers get overly excited about the silliest of things. And what I'm about to show you gets me really excited. So don't go anywhere. Out in Ohio where the rents are fly. Got a man named Mike. He's your hey there, how's it going? My name is Mike. They call me the Fresh Rents. It's Sunday afternoon. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm super excited to show you some fab work that I had done on Jazzy that's going to make life so much easier easier for me out in the field. I also want to show you this so that some of you will just get off my back. Look what I've got. The AR-45 is in place, but don't get too excited. I do not have it mounted, nor do I have it plumbed. I'm not exactly where, uh, where I'm going to put it. I just put it here to show you a general idea of what I'm going to do. So I'm probably taking it off today. But nonetheless, there it is, so shut up. Soon, it will be in place, everything will be mounted, it will be plumbed, and it will be in use. But here's what I wanna show you. I have been trying to make space on the bed of Jazzy for quite some time. I've had the 19-inch Whisper Wash Classic and the Mini Mondo on top of the bed ever since I've gotten Jazzy, and that's fine. The problem is, the 19 inch is easy enough to remove, but the Mini Mondo is darn heavy for the fresh. So I needed a place to put the Mini Mondo to make it easily accessible without having to lift it up over this railing to get it off and then to put it back on, even though I only do it maybe three or four times a week. And so I took a trip to see Nick the Fabricator, and here's what we came up with. Boom. I'm loving this setup. So I bought a tray. This is actually like a luggage rack that you would put in your hitch. And then Nick and I came up with this railing system right here. And all I have to do is remove this pin like this. And I'll have one right there. I'll show you in a minute why it's not there. And then watch this, boom. This comes right out just like this and easy enough comes right out boom just like that now the handle is another issue and i know what you're thinking dude that's ridiculous here's what i've come up with as it turns out it only takes me one minute to remove the handle actually less than one minute and it takes me just less than one minute to put the handle on so i have to put the handle on when i get to the job site take the handle off when i get done and nick is going to fabricate Another rack system, I think, we, we haven't got all the details in place yet, but the idea is e either here or here, or maybe over both, there's gonna be another rack system. The 19 inch Whisper Wash will go across and hang there. And then above that will be the handle for the Mini Mondo. So at the end of the job, Put it right back in here, just like this. And slap right back into place. And bam. Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thank you, Nick. You know what? I'm going to go on record and say Nick sucks. It wasn't Nick. Nick did a little work. Nick, you're a pretty good guy. Not much to look at. It was his son, Zach that does most of the work. He seems to kind of run the shop. He's only 19, but he seems to really, he has his act together where Nick pretty much just, I don't even know what Nick does. But anyways, Zach built this for me as well. It's the same setup, just pull the pin and this is my gas tank. So the gas tank was right here, right there. And of course I bought the buyer's box. I'll show you what's inside of there here in a moment. You don't wanna miss this, super cool. So the gas tank was here, but I wanted again to free up space. Free up space, I'm all about space. Oh, and by the way, you're gonna love the decal that goes on the side of this. I can't wait to show you that. That's in an upcoming video. But you simply pull the pin and once again, this slides out. I don't know that I'll even have to do that because I can access the gas lid just fine. But if I needed to, it does slide all the way out and in easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now you may be asking about the battery. Some of you will remember that I had problems with the 
uh, 10 GPM machine, couldn't figure it out, tipped it over and discovered that I had the hot wire pinched underneath the machine and it grounded out. I do not have the wires run permanently back to the battery. This was all temporary, but temporary now for the last month. I, I'll get to that eventually. And again, that will free up some space as well. So just to kind of show you how this rail system works, you can see this plate right here. I'll try to get underneath here for you. This plate system, with, or rail system rather, this plate that mounts with these four uh, bolts and nuts there and the same thing down there. And then Nick welded this railing here. It's an inch and a half inch um, square tubing. And of course it's been painted. He did all the welding for me. And then this aluminum rail system actually is welded to the actual tray. I'll put a link in the description where I got the tray. So this is, I think, 40 inches, something like that. I can't remember. But yeah, it just slides in and out and it's super, super nice. Zach actually cut this one down to 32 inches. I mean, it looks absolutely factory. I can't tell. I guess he cut this side right here. And so it, w it would have been way out here or way out here. Nonetheless, he cut it down to fit the gas tank and did amazing work. Welded it all back up and you can't even tell it's been cut. And again, it slides in and out. I'm super happy about that. And the same type of setup here, only instead of bolting it, he just went ahead and welded it. I still need to paint uh, this system here. He did that on both sides. Thank you, Zach. Much better job than your old man. Okay, I'm teasing. Nick does amazing work. He will be watching the video. And so I like to give him a hard time, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with what we have here. This is a little project that's been in the making for quite some time. So I'm wondering what your advice would be. Should I scoot this down a little bit? I still need to be able to get my um, sign in and out and access that so I could scoot this down a little bit and maybe have the plumbing right here for the AR-45. Or I could put this right up here. I'm kind of thinking that. And then still have the plumbing over here for the AR-45. I've got so many options and so much room still yet on the bed of Jazzy. All right, so there you have it, man. Like so many options, so, so happy. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you why I got the buyer's box. Now, before I show you what's inside, I will tell you I got this off Amazon for 340-ish, something like that. Greatly discounted if you buy it from Amazon as opposed to the manufacturer. I'll put a link in the description. You know, Joe has a bunch of these. Patrick Johnson has like 800 of them on his truck. And I wanted one really just to house one thing. I've been needing a place to store my bird's nest snatcher. And here it is. Check that out. Ha! <laughs> you don't get those just anywhere. And look, it fits perfectly. So that's why I got the buyer's box. Soon, I will have this permanently mounted. It is not yet. I just want to make sure I get it in the right place. And you can see here I have this one and a half inch square tubing. I will get two more pieces for the back and I'll eliminate these. So it'll go all the way across the back and all the way across the front. And then per Joe Deary's suggestion, I will drill some holes in each corner to allow for drainage. So I do on a serious note, want to say thank you to Nick and Zach of Legendary Welding here in Ohio. Did amazing work. They're the ones who fabricated all of the aluminum that you see here with the doors that go in and out, all of that they did for me. They do amazing work. Again, legendary welding. These guys really know their stuff. All right, I really appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me some additional things you think I should do to make my life easier. I'd greatly appreciate it. And then be sure and hit the bell tab. That will alert you to future videos and you and I can spend a lot of time together. All right, really appreciate you watching. My name is Mike. They call me the Fresh Rents. And I'm out. Remember the name.